Number 47. How long would it take to reduce one mole of each of the following ions using the current indicated? And in this case, we have calcium 2 plus ion, and then we have a current of 22.2 amps. All right, so anytime that you see that you have a capital A, that's always your amps, and that's the unit for current. And to make things even more confusing, current in your formulas in chemistry is always a capital I value. Okay, so I know that I have an I value. That's the 22.2 amps. That's the current. They're asking for how long would something take, right? If you ask somebody, how long is that going to take? You're looking for a time value. So I know that I have to search for lowercase t. That's the time unit. And they give me a mole value right? So I'm in an N world, right? Because N generally is talking about moles. So I say to myself, do I know any formula that links a time, a mole value, an N value, and an I value? Yeah, there's only one, and that's this formula. I'll make this a little bit bigger. And I just manipulated it so that we're actually solving for that time. Now time equals N times F divided by I. We already talked about the current, right? That's why you see this I here. That's the 22.2 amps. Now, F is Faraday's constant, right? It's a constant number, 96,485. If we want to know the units here, it's Coulomb per mole. And now this is where it gets just a little tricky because if we want to solve for time, we should know that N value. But since we're talking about electrolysis and current, and redox reactions, this N is the moles of electrons that are being transferred. So I don't want just one mole of calcium. I need to know how many electrons are, you know, being used when the one mole of calcium is also being used. So I say one mole of Ca2+, plus, and now, how many electrons were either lost or gained? Well, it says it all in the upper right-hand corner. This 2 plus, what does this mean? Yeah, you got it. 2 plus means that you lose 2 electrons. So, for every 1 mole of calcium, you lost 2 electrons. So your N value would actually be two because it always goes by the electrons not the atom so now i know that i have an n of two and now let's solve t equals i'll put that there we have the two values up top we got the one value on the bottom i'm just going to put the the reds first so 96,485 divided by 22.2 .2. And now I have the 2 amps. I'm just going to go 2 times 96,485. That looks right. Divided by 22.2. .2. That looks all good to me. Press Enter. And there we go. Now, if we want to do sig figs, I have three sig figs here. The 1 doesn't count because that's just like a counting value. So I'll say 8.69 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3 to the third. And if you're using this formula, the time is always going to come out in seconds. So this is the amount of time that it would take in seconds, which is a lot of time. I mean, 8,690 seconds, that's a lot. It didn't specifically say whether we wanted it in minutes or hours, but just know that if you wanted it in minutes, you could always divide by 60. And then if you want it in hours, you divide that number by 60 again. So if I divide it by 60, here is how many minutes it would take, 144 minutes, roughly. And then if I just take that number again, divide it by 60, it's roughly 2.4 hours. So it's up to you which unit you want to give it in, but I'll keep it in seconds because it didn't say. Okay, what'd you think? Thank you for viewing the video. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love helping you guys. Love talking to you guys in the comments. Thank you for being so kind. And I love that I'm hearing that this channel is helping you guys out in your studies, not only in chem, but in physics and math. Check the channel out if you haven't. We have 
over 4,000 videos at the moment just for you guys to learn your classes. And if you wouldn't mind, if you could hit that subscribe button and tell your friends and classmates, it just gets the word out there that this YouTube channel exists. I thank you for that. My brother thanks you. We appreciate you guys so very much. And I hope you're having a great day out there. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.